Hey there, fellas. Welcome back to another episode of Johnny Clyde Eats. I'm here with B-Hard. We're, we're at Sonic, and we are ready to spoon. We have the new seasonal summertime uh, Sour Patch Kids slush float. We got the clear cups. So that's awesome. Uh, you know, we had the popping, bursting bubbles, uh, boba tea, Sonic slush last year from the clear cups. Well, it looks like we got a clear cup for the Sour Patch Kids slush float. Um, I was worried that we would have a styrofoam cup. Um, I like the clear cups way better. Look, I'm going to try not to make a mess, but look, it's got some like Sour Patch Kid candies on it, some ice cream, and a special Sour Patch Kids watermelon slush flavor they used to have watermelon slush flavor back in the day let's see if the sour patch kids one is any different uh, before we get started like subscribe hit the notification bell that'll keep you up to date with all of our new diversified content car mm -hmm. videos plant videos food view reviews mukbangs uh challenges you know kyle's not here today but kyle will be joining us in mm -hmm. gen he'll be joining us in some of these there you go. um it's gonna be lots of fun, uh, but a little less talk, a lot more action. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into this Sour Patch Kids Watermelon Slush Float. Brandon, you gonna be sucking or spooning this first? Uh, a little, little bit of both. I think I'm gonna be doing a little sucking first. Uh, I like to drink my slush more than I like to spoon my slush. So, first reactions. Interesting, I guess. Interesting. Is a good way to... mm, very interesting. And I'm going to say, based on uh, my old knowledge of the watermelon, the old watermelon one, which they probably discontinued that, I don't know, like six or seven years ago. You'd have to uh, Google that one, maybe drop it in the comments if you're a Sonic expert. You might know, but they had a green apple flavor and they had a watermelon flavor. Discontinued both of them. Um, I don't know. Old Bubba, I know you used to work at Sonic and you had the, the watermelon and the green apple. Maybe you can tell me. I don't know. Uh, but this tastes pretty reminiscent of the original watermelon. I would say that it's a little less tart. Uh, that was... It was one of my favorite flavors, but I will say that the original watermelon slush was very tart. Got the candies on the top, the Sour Patch Kid candies. What's interesting, Sour Patch Kid makes a watermelon flavored candy, but it looks like they use the actual kiddos instead of the watermelons on this one, even though there's not really any like real Sour Patch Kids in this. It's just little chunks. I think they're ground up. Yeah. You have to have a boba straw to do full-size Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, you know how you put 100 Sour Patch Kids in a uh, Sonic cup? Grind them up. Yep, a blender. Just in case you didn't know. But, hmm, the Sour Patch... Mm, the little candies, they do taste like actual Sour Patch Kid candies. Yeah. But they're a little harder. I think that's probably just because they're cold. That's a good scientific take. Yeah. Um, probably the same candies, just cold. That'd be my guess. That's interesting. It's interesting that you say that because I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm digging it. I actually am. I, I like the ice cream slush concept you know they do this for the the red white and blue slush during the fourth of july it's got the uh the strawberries the red strawberries the in the syrup and it's got the the white ice cream the you know the soft syrup and it's got that uh i can't, I can't remember if it's the blue coconut or or what it is blue some blue slush and you know the ice cream slush concept i think is a good one I'm digging these big cups. It's pretty cool. You can see little pieces in there. I don't know if you can see that. I can see that. I don't know if you can. Yep. That's that. Well, I think that the 
I think this was a success. Um, we've taken a break. I don't know what video is going to come up first. This one or the Taco Bell. We did the summer Taco Bell one. But uh, we took a little bit of a uh, break. Moving, you know, uh, stuff moving, like that. Moving, yep. moving, moving. Me and B-Hard both moved. Um, Margaret done kicked me out. Mm -hmm. Kicked him to the curb. Kicked me to the curb. Oh, Margaret. But anyways, we're going to be back in action. Uh, sorry if I'm being repetitive here. If you've watched the other video first. But we are getting into a few different new topics here on the Johnny Clyde channel. Mm -hmm. We got Johnny Clyde Racing coming. Oh, and that yeah. is food content. No. No, that's car content. Con car car content. That would make more sense. Yeah, I for mean, the racing. Unless it's food races, but we're talking Which cars. We're not, yeah. We do, have, do some of that too. We so. do the food races. And I would say that Kyle better watch out. He's been talking some mad, uh, some mad, uh, uh, he's been talking ahead. Uh, that's what we say down here. Mm -hmm. um, bumping his gums, you know, yeah. saying that he's going to beat Johnny Clyde, especially in this Panda Express thing. You know what? You know what they say about people who talk a lot. Uh, they can't usually back it up. They can't. They can't. Uh, their their mouth can't or their stomach can't cash checks that their mouth rots or something like that. Um, I think it's like. Something about your, uh, don't let your mouth write checks that your butt can't cash? Or your, or your stomach can't cash. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not. I sense. don't know. There's somebody down there, you know, we know from back in their day named Chris. We won't say his last name, obviously, but he used to do a lot of that uh, talking his mouth and not cashing his checks or Running something like that. Yeah, something about some Pokemon cards in his birthday. I don't know. Although he did win that. Great American Challenge. He did win that Great American Challenge, or was that Chris? No, that he won the other Chris. No, the milk one. He did win the fastest person to wreck their car after they bought a car. Yeah, challenge. He did win that one. He did yeah. win that one. Right there on state line. Um, yep. That was a interesting day. Oh yeah. <laughs> But we're just we're just goofing around. This young man blocked us both. Reminiscing. We're reminiscing, and this young man blocked us both on social media. He oh geez, he couldn't handle the thing. We were just. Well, I think we were messing with him too hard. We were. Yeah, Margaret said I was goofing a little too much on him, and then Miss B Hard, Mrs B Hard, said mm -hmm. B Hard was maybe being a little hard on him. Uh, oh. Now that Margaret's gone, look at this little filly over here. Get you a Jolene. That's what you need. Yeah, that's what. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. You can take this man. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know. You can kind of see her in the camera. This there, filly. So. <laughs> but anyways, I'm getting a little. Uh, I think uh, you're getting sugar high right now. Yeah, this this thing is um, definitely. Um, whew, Sour Patch Kids got me going. But no, you know, some people writing checks with their mouths and not cashing them. There's some guy named PP Eats or something like that in North Carolina. He made some Sonic video about Johnny Claude he wasn't happy about. Uh, but we're back. The haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. Don't hate the player. Hate the league, as they say. Um, we don't hate on anybody. We just no. goofing, having a good time. Um, this thing is very sweet. Old Bihar's got to go pick up the kiddo. Um, so we need to wrap this one up. Oh, yeah. The Sour Patch Kids Slush Float. Uh, $3. $2.99. That's how much they're advertising it for. I'm sure they'll run sort of, some sort of special along the way. They usually do like a half price thing for one-time use. Um, ice cream, watermelon slush, and Sour Patch Kids all chopped up into pieces. Um value two ninety nine. This thing is huge. Pretty big. I'm giving the value a nine point eight. This thing is a lot. Ice cream, slush, and candy. Yeah, you get a lot <clears throat> for what you pay for. Nine point eight for a medium. This is this is twenty ounces or more. Um what do you say value? 13? I'd say about I'd say about the same on value. Nine point eight. Yeah. Yeah, it, I mean it's, it's a pretty good size. It's a great value, you know. Sonic, not Sonic. Taco Bell has the freezes about half the size yeah. for about the same price. Yeah. Uh, no ice cream or anything. Um, 
now that little filly out there, I think she's going to come over here and talk to Johnny Clyde. She's, oh, maybe. I think she's walking up to the car right now. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, I might have to get her number here in a bit, so we need to speed this up. Okay. Quality? Taste? Um, I'll give it like a... I'll give it like a 9.5. There's a lot going on, uh, but I'll give it a 9.5 for... Maybe creativity, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually uh, going to... Wouldn't, I wouldn't... I, this wouldn't be a regular... I'm more of just a root beer float kind of guy. Yeah. I'm kind of a simple no, man. No, I feel you. A simple kind of thinking. Uh, I'm going to go with 9.4 here. I actually like on the slush game, freeze game, I do like ice cream in it. The red, white, and blue slush, I think it's better. The tartness of this is a little much. Um, so a 9.4... 9.8 value, 9.4 quality taste. That's going to give me a 9.6 average. And what was yours? A 9.8 and a 9.5. That's a 9.6 uh, and a half mm. average. Um, okay. That's that. That's, uh, a, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. You fellers, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're going to be having all kinds of fun this summer. Uh, cars, plants, mm -hmm. um, food, drinks. We're back. Back in We're business. Back, back in business. Back in Texas. Back in business. And uh, you fellers, uh, we appreciate you. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. If I haven't said that again already, I don't know. Uh, please have a good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you're at. Johnny Cloud and Beehard, out. Out.